PC 时代改变了人们的思考方式，工作变得轻松简单；互联网时代改变了人们的沟通方式，时间和地域变得不再遥不可及。而人类的探索并没有因此而终止，相反，人们更加急切地探索。怎样能够使生活变得更加智能化？于是，我们进入了物联网时代。从简单的扫码支付、语音识别、智能捕获入库，到智能家居、智能安全防护系统，再到无人机、无人驾驶等，物联网已经遍布我们的生活。今天走进我们总裁有话说节目的 Next ID 公司。就是一家致力于为物联网提供全面技术产品和服务平台的公司。它成立于2013年，次年9月 ，Next ID 在美国纳斯达克股票交易所成功上市，股票代码 NXTD。公司专注于物联网时代下的个体身份识别认证与加密支付技术。今天，其 CEO Gino Pereira 在纳斯达克接受了华尔街多媒体的专访。Hi, Gino. Welcome to Wall Street Multimedia's Dialogue with CEO Special today. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. So, could you please briefly introduce yourself and your company? Yes. So, my name is Gino Pereira. I am the Chief Executive Officer of Next ID, and、uh, I've been in technology businesses for the last 40 years.、Um, I've worked in、uh, the United Kingdom, in Europe,、uh, the United States, and the Far East.、Mm-hmm. And、uh, by training, I'm a An accountant trained in the United Kingdom, and I have an MBA in finance.、Uh, the company Next ID,、uh, I co-founded back in、uh, 2003, I think it was.、Oh. Uh, 13, sorry, not three, 13.、Yeah. <laughs> and、um, so Next ID is a company that specializes in identification and authentication of individuals on the Internet of Things. So what we seek to do is we verify individuals to devices. And we connect those devices and verify them to ecosystems. So, in your opinion, what makes XID different with its competitors? So, there's a couple of things. One is really the breadth of our technology. We have a lot of depth of technology, particularly on the fintech side,、mm-hmm. uh, that we've developed over the last five years. We've been doing this for a while. And secondly,、uh, importantly, it's actually the platform that we have on our fintech side.、Uh, we are the only、uh, independent supplier of. A contactless payment technology in the United States right now, that works with、uh, Visa, Mastercard, and Discover,、uh, other than、uh, the OEM players. So when I say OEM players, I mean Apple has the technology, Samsung has the technology,、yeah. Google does, but we're the only ones that will supply that to third-party manufacturers. So you mentioned your company owns the industry-leading technology. So why not share with us your technology team? Certainly. So there, there are two main drivers of our technology team.、Uh, one is a gentleman called David Tunnel, who's our chief、uh, technology officer.、Mm-hmm. He co-founded Next ID with me back in 2013.、Mm-hmm. And David's background is primarily with、uh, United States government agencies specializing in cryptology,、mm-hmm. and he's also worked for、uh, U.S. government contractors before. So,、uh, special, you know, deep、uh, knowledge of biometrics,、uh, cryptology. And sensor technologies, and then we have Scott Stevelink, who joined us from the FitPay merger. And Scott was formerly an executive at Visa,、mm-hmm. where he was in charge of digital platforms at Visa. So he's very experienced in wide-scale, large implementations of digital platform technology. So it seems you have a very good team. Yes, indeed. Yeah, yeah we're very happy. Yeah, and I saw the news. Actually, your company announced insurance of U.S. patent for IoT device、um, collaboration. So could you please talk more about that? Yeah, certainly. We're excited about that patent. So,、um, collaboration between devices、mm-hmm. means that、uh, we can authenticate、um, a personal device that you have、mm-hmm. to other devices somewhere. So,、uh, the easiest way to explain it is: let's say you walk into your home、mm-hmm. and you have your smartphone on you. Yeah. Well, a device in your home knows that it's you that's walked in because whether it's a smartphone or it could be a watch or some other device,、um, it knows that it is you, and Because it's you,、um, it will start playing, you know, your music selection. Yeah, you like and open the air conditioning. Or exactly、yeah. right, turn on the air conditioning, set it to a particular temperature that you want it to. That's your personal preference, and that can be extended to a large number of applications. 
Oh, it's awesome. So who are your main client and which markets are you focusing on? So we're focused in two areas. We're focused in healthcare and we're focused in fintech. Mm -hmm. So in fintech, uh, our major client is Garmin International. Uh, we provide the basic payment technology, tap to pay payment technology uh, that's on Garmin devices, Garmin watches in particular right now. And that's uh, expanding. They've uh, started with one or two and, and they're gonna, they've introduced a lot more. And by the end of the year, we expect to be on most Garmin watches um, in terms of payments. And on the healthcare side, our main uh, client is the uh, Veterans Administration of America. So we provide uh, life-saving uh, personal emergency response systems to the VA to veterans. So are you involved with cryptocurrency and blockchain? Recently, it's a really hot topic. Yes, yes, we are. And, and before it was a hot topic, a couple of years ago, uh, we were already looking at it. Wow. So we filed a couple of patents on uh, blockchain technologies, primarily to with the idea of uh, increasing the speed of transaction mm -hmm. on blockchain verification. Mm -hmm. uh, as you know, blockchains can get pretty long, and yeah. so some of the verification time can take time, and you know, people are impatient by nature. Uh, so we're hopeful that those patents uh, will be processed and granted. And uh, we actually have a product that we recently announced called Flip mm -hmm. uh, from our fintech company, which is a product that will convert your Bitcoin into currency to use. So you could uh, take your Bitcoin and take a small amount of it, put it, in, put it into your coin device, and you can go and buy a coffee with it, or you can go and buy something at a store with it that just takes regular U.S. currency. So that is a new product? That is our, a new product that we're just launching. We've got a, um, a beta launch going on right now, mm -hmm. and we should have our full national launch uh, fairly shortly. Okay, so that is the exchange, or is that only the digital wallet? Like, That's a physical, it's a physical device. It's a physical uh, coin that you can clip to a keychain. Uh -huh. Like a token. Like a token, exactly. And uh, you can just tap it on any uh, point of sale reader, that takes, you know, Visa, for example, wow. and it will process your Bitcoin and it'll turn it into US dollars. And make your shopping, make your life more convenient. convenient. Yes, if you wish to use your coin for everyday, for everyday spending purposes, it allows you to do that. Okay, so is there any challenge as a company or in your industry? Many challenges, <laughs> <laughs> both company-wide and industry-wide. So, you know, we're obviously competing in in two very large industries mm -hmm. that have tremendous opportunity on both sides. So the fintech industry, or certainly the finance industry at the moment, is going through tremendous change. It's a big change from the old using the old credit cards with magnetic yeah. stripe to tap to pay, and we think we're at the forefront of that technology. The time of adoption takes some time, like people are gradually converting over to it. Actually, out in the Far East, they're much quicker. Um, in Europe, they're quicker. In the United States, it's taking a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. So timing for us is a challenge to gain scale, but it, there's no doubt that it will come. Um, certainly on the healthcare side, we have some interesting opportunities, but the lead time to get into healthcare projects is very long. We feel once we're established in those particular projects, then the customer stays for a long time and it becomes a very good relationship. But that takes some amount of time. So timing is certainly a challenge for us. Yeah. So is there any short-term or long-term goal of your company? And what, as an investor or as an audience, what can we expect? Right. So our short-term goal is really to achieve um, you know, consistent profitability in the short term. So we had a couple of quarters where we were operating profit positive. Uh, we've dipped back to going a bit negative now. Um, and that's just... Um, it's just a growth phase as we have we have less clients right now so as you know they somebody pops on somebody pops off mm -hmm. makes a difference but we're kind of hovering around that line right now and so the short-term goal is to really be steady and to get it achieving solid profitability going forward um, the long-term goal really is to become the dominant provider of authentication and a credentialing technology in the IoT business. So when, you know, in IoT is a great, a great thing. It can make our lives very easy. Yeah. Uh, the fact that devices can all connect to each other, etc. But if it's not secure, it's going to collapse very quickly. Yeah. Because there's one thing to have your credit card that just gets, you know, that somebody takes and hacks and take it away. I mean, that's certainly got a monetary cost to it for somebody, whether it's a bank or yourself personally. But now when you're talking about IoT devices opening the front door to your house mm -hmm. or your car, those are very personal assets. And if you're not confident in 
how the authentication is being done and is it done in the most secure way, then IoT will fail. And so we believe that we're in the middle of that change and we can provide the right credentials to make sure that doesn't happen. Okay, again, thanks so much for the interview and thank you and bad wishes to your company. Thank, thank you. you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you.